Welcome to Manuka Natural in New Zealand. I'm Bill Blewis and today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the difference between the uh, gradings or, or certification of Manuka honey on the scale of UMF or Unique Manuka Factor and another system of measurement called MGO. Now for many years um, UMF has been the standard throughout New Zealand and the world for testing uh, the antimicrobial properties of Manuka honey. The rating of, in this case, 20 plus uh, relates to a 20% concentration of phenol, a standard antiseptic used around the world. So that you know that if you're using this, that it'll have the same effect on, on bacteria as, as the, uh, the standard concentration of phenol. Now MGO is another system of measurement which uh, rather than measuring the antimicrobial effect of the honey it measures the, the quantity or concentration of a compound in the manuka honey which is responsible for the antimicrobial properties. So uh, MGO stands for methyl glyoxal which is a compound found in these high grades of, of Manuka honey. Now the relationship between methyl glyoxal and UMF uh, is not, not linear, um, but generally speaking um, the more methyl glyoxal uh, the higher the level of unique Manuka factor. Methyl glyoxal is not the only uh, compound responsible for the uh, antimicrobial activity of, of uh, Manuka honey, but it is a serious contributor um, and, and it is a way that can, it, it can be uh, given a, a very good indication towards the, the ultimate um, antimicrobial properties of this honey. Um, if you have any questions uh, about this, um, please contact me on, on below the video and make a comment and uh, I'll attempt to come back to you with um, the best answer, the most accurate answer we can. Uh, and if you have other people, you know of other people that could be interested in this, uh, please share this video with them.